What's up everyone? This is Brett. Welcome back to the Kodoverse. It's great to have you here again. Now today um, I'm going to be showing you how to disavow a link on your website. Also follow me on social media. I'll put my links just down here. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments and let's get started. So if you've ever noticed in your search console on Google, you'll have a list of domains that, or sites that will link to your site. Often it's not always the best to have all of these sites linking to yours because some of these sites could have, hold a bad reputation, they could have low domain authority, or they could be a part of link farms, negative SEO attacks. So you basically need to tell Google that you actually don't want to be associated with said link. So there are a couple ways that you can actually go about removing your website's link from that website. So you may ask yourself, well, how am I meant to do that? Um, no, it's not my website, I don't have access to it. I can't remove the link myself. So in that situation, you could one, uh, send an email to the owner or f figure out who owns the website and tell them to remove that link, which would ideally be the best way to do it. But number two, and the way that I'm going to show you today, is to disavow that link in Google Search Console. Now, basically what that will do is it will tell Google that you don't want to be associated with that domain. And it will essentially just not count the result in the ranking of your own website. Alright, so let's get started. So as you can see here, I'm in the Search Console of um, my website. Now, basically, if you scroll down the bottom here, you'll see something called links. So in links, you'll find a section that basically says the top linking site. Now, generally within here, you'll see a bunch of different sites that uh, will have a link back to your website. Now, the majority of these websites sh should be fine to keep, uh, especially if they're ones that you've worked on or you know who they are, and even some with higher domain authority and reputation you shouldn't want to remove. But for the, the example of this, I have this one website here. Now, I know if I click open in a new tab, I can see off the bat this website is probably not something I want associated with me. It's not secure. It's I've checked the domain authority, which I will create a video showing you how to check the domain authority. So when that comes out, I will put it in the description of this video, or you'll see it at the end of this video. So at this point, we don't want this website associated with us. So we're going to go ahead and remove it by creating a disavow file. I've already got this window loaded here, which you can see on the screen now. But if you want to get to this, you can just get to it by going search.google.com slash search slash search console slash disavow dash links. I will put that link in the description, so if you want to get to it, it will be there. So the first thing you should do when you're on this page is select the property. Now, we're going to go for the property of my website. As you can see, we've already got some files that are already disavowed on this site, so we're going to go ahead and download that list. So if I go ahead and open that list now, you will see that basically I've got a list of here of a couple domains that I don't want to be associated with. So basically what I'm going to want to do is copy this link here and I'm going to want to place that in there. And for good measure I'm going to place it again but without the dub dub dub. Um, it shouldn't matter whether you're doing a secure or non-secure URL, but so basically that that's it. So okay, so once you've added that URL to the disavow file, you'll just quickly save that, which just Control S. So basically, back on the disavow page, we're now since we've saved our document, we're just going to replace the one that's currently there. So if you just hit replace there and you say you want to replace this list, yeah. And you go to your downloads and the file that we've just saved. We can actually just open that up again 
and now Google's going to upload that and replace it with the one that's currently there. So as you can see it's got a brand new date on it for when we've last disavowed files and basically all we need to do is that it's done. So Google will periodically over time uh, read this disavow file and it will make sure that the links in it are not associated with your website. Now doing this over time is going to be a good way to increase your domain authority, uh, hopefully increase your Google search rankings and you know make sure that you're only associated with good sites rather than negative sites. So that does it for the video, thanks for watching, I really hope that you learned something today. This was just a quick tutorial to show you a bit about what disavow is and how to disavow a file in your Google Search Console. It should dramatically, hopefully help with your domain authority and your Google rankings, so it's definitely worthwhile doing. I, I am going to be releasing a whole bunch of different SEO tips, Joomla tips, development, design. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, all you got to do is just smash that subscribe button, hit the like if this video has been helpful, and comment down below, let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to read all the comments, I will reply to you if you comment. It's been a pleasure having you here for this tutorial, it's been great and I can't wait to see how far you can grow. So until next time, I will see you in the next one.